and welcome to the Fast Reports Academy. Today I will demonstrate to you our new development related to the Blazor technology. Blazor is a framework for creating an interactive web interface with C Sharp, HTML and CSS. It comes in two versions – server-side Blazor server and client-side Blazor WebAssembly. In short, WebAssembly allows code to be executed on the user's browser and accesses the remote server only for the libraries required for code execution. And recently we've added support of this technology into fastreport.net. First thing I will show you is a demo version that we are hosting on our server and that you will be able to access on your own. The link will be in the description. And after that I will demonstrate how to create a simple reporting application based on WebAssembly. So let's begin. It takes a little bit of time to get everything loaded and initialized. I am not speeding up this footage, so you can see the time a process like this can take. But after that's done, the next time we open our link or just reload the page, it will load much quicker. It's almost done. And here it is. The app is done loading, so let's also try reloading it. much swifter. We have several reports on this page, and they all are executed by our browser. Here are some reports that are in the demo at the moment. To prove that things are being processed in the browser, let me turn off the internet on my computer. And now, until I try closing or loading the tab, I can prepare any of the reports from cached templates and cached data. But now let's go to the part where I will show you how a simple reporting application using WebAssembly can be made. I will be following one of our articles, so I will be taking code from it. And if something isn't clear to you, you can consult the article or ask about it in the comments. So let's begin. I am creating a new project in Visual Studio. The template I'm choosing is Blazor WebAssembly MT4 .NET 7. Make sure you are using Visual Studio 2022 and you have installed WebAssembly build tools for your chosen .NET version. First thing I need to do is to edit the CS proj of our project and add the latest fast report Blazor WebAssembly package. And a small note here, I am receiving the libraries from our NuGet server. I need to disable trimming as it will interfere with the report script compilation. Next, adding native Sky Sharp libraries as part of our application. I am using .NET 7, so I need this code. The article has alternative code for .NET 6. Next, let's switch to the imports razor file. I need to add the necessary namespaces for the fast report component visibility. In program.cs, I need to register fast report services in our DI container. Note that for FastReport to work in WebAssembly, you must have a configured HTTP client in a DI container that can access root to load the necessary DLL builds. If you need to override HTTP client for your use, you can just set up a separate HTTP client only for FastReport needs by using this code instead. We're almost done, but there are several finishing touches still required to do. In www root, index.html, we need to add the loading of JS scripts, so FastReport can properly work. Now at this point you are probably wondering, what is going to be done with fonts, since they are an integral part of any text-based report. In our application, we will use a font that will be embedded in our library as a resource in advance. Let's go back to our CS proj and add this code, that will allow us to embed fonts in a folder that we will call, well, fonts. So, I am creating this folder in our project. Going a little bit ahead, I will note that the report I'm going to use requires a font called Tahoma, and I will simply copy it from Windows, for demonstrational purposes. You must make sure that you are including all the fonts your reports will be using. And I will also need a method in program.cs to register all of the fonts. Now, we should have some data for the report to use. I will get it from an HTM file that I will put in www root along with the report. I am using this as a quick placeholder and we strongly discourage you from doing this in actual projects, since the data is very easy to steal in this case. 
Let's go to index.razor and put the code for data access right here. And we also need to copy the report and the XML file. I will take them directly from a fast report installation without any changes. And from this point, we should be able to build the application. It will take a little bit of time to get built and loaded. And here we are. The app works and the report was successfully built with all the necessary data. We can also check that the application used the right font by inspecting the web page. And this was it for today's video. There are some technicalities mainly related to data access that I skipped in the video and that are explained more in our article, so be sure to also take a look at it. Link in the description. You can follow the news about the development of WebAssembly support on our website. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. And if you're interested in fastreport.net or any other of our products, you can take a look at this channel you're watching right now. All of our videos are sorted by product and included in playlists, which you can find in the description.